it is rumored that the number of branches that the rss has in this country is about 70000 and i'm giving a rough figure that each branch has at least 10 people what is that translate to 7 lakh people across the country this is an organization that constantly bleeds and groans about sanskrit not getting its due in this country that sanskrit is not adopted it's not spoken and they've always called themselves the guardians of this particular language i have a simple question to ask 70000 into 10 is 7 lakh how many of these 7 lakh people have been taught sanskrit by the rss itself an organization which wants the rest of the country to learn this language itself has not deemed it important to teach the language to its own people what does it say as far as a third party is concerned this is a hypocritical position you want the rest of the world to learn this language but you have not been able to teach this language to your own people when you have specific wings which are dedicated to the teaching of this language i'm sure people have heard of this branch called the sanskrit bharati you have a wing dedicated to it but you have not taught it second there is a fundamental inferiority complex on the indic side which needs to be overcome you can continue to gripe about the other side but unless and until you know how the other side operates you will not be in a position to respond to it if you vilify english you have effectively given them complete hold over english media if you say that english does not belong to this country you live in the age of dinosaurs because you fail to understand that whether you like it or not english has become a popular language in this country the very same people when pushed to the wall they'll say no no english has several words that comes from sanskrit is it your position that english is an indian language or not at least clarify that you can't say that english has several words which come from sanskrit and also say that english is a foreign language